Greetings, this is a, a presentation, a tutor video tutorial about deconvolution in, uh, in uh, MineExpert. Um, deconvolution can be based on the charge state envelope uh, uh, peaks or uh, isotopic cluster peaks. So I have loaded here two, uh, two uh, spectra. Uh, this one is uh, about, of course, a protein, as we can see here. Uh, we can look at these three peaks. And this one is about peptides. And we look at, uh, at some peaks uh, around here. There we are. So let's start with the deconvolution based on uh, a, a chart state envelope. Um, it is possible to uh, compute the uh, molecular mass of a, uh, an analyte if that analyte is regularly uh, charged and we get the, pep the, the peaks for the different charges. So this is a, a green fluorescent protein. Uh, if I point on this left peak and I drag with a left click to this uh, second peak, I will be able to compute the mass of the protein and before to deduce the charge of uh, the uh, uh, ions. If you look at the bottom here of the window, you see this line here, that is called the status bar, you will see that information is displayed. So let's point, click, left click and drag. First off, you see that if you move too much vertically, the program thinks you are trying to do a rectangle zooming operation. So always stay roughly at the same uh, Y position as the starting point. And once you are there, you move. Let's center the cursor on the second peak. And if you look at the status bar at the bottom of the window, you will see that the Z, uh, the charge value is 23, and there is also the uh, molecular mass of the, mm, the analyte, that is, that protein. Z equals 23, that is the charge of the ion that lies below the cursor, that is, this, uh, the analyte that is responsible for this peak is charged 23 times. If we now do the point, click, drag operation to the left in the reversed direction, the charge will not be the same because it would be 24 because this peak is due to a protein that is uh, charged 24 times. So you see that this is the deconvolution. Sometimes two consecutive peaks in a charge state envelope cannot be found to be uh, uh, enough um, either uh, good shaped or uh, intense enough to do uh, that kind of deconvolution. So the program allows you to uh, perform um, a deconvolution by skipping any number of peaks. For example, you can actually say this peak is not uh, uh, in a good shape enough for me to be able to actually put the cursor in the centroid and so on. I want to go to this one. Just increase the, the number of peaks you go on. One space, two spaces, and you go to the second peak. And you find that the result is the same. And you could do that once more if you wanted. But don't forget, you need to increase that value. This value here is the number of intervals you are spanning. So here I span, I point, click, span one, span two, span three. And I find that the computed value is the same.
And of course, the charge now is 21. 21, 22, 23, 24. Let's check that. I point this one, click, move, and I see that the charge is effectively 24. This is for the charge state envelope deconvolution. The process is very similar with the lower trace here. These are peptides. And uh, it's very easy to look at the mass of peptides. For example, let's zoom. Here we need to zoom a lot. Let's zoom this isotopic cluster. Point to the first peak. Move. And we find that the computer understands this is a twice charged peptide so z equals 2 and the molecular mass is roughly 2000 note that the mass is for the starting point always because this is a particular case you want to know the molecular mass uh, of the monoisotopic uh, species. So we can see it is 1982. That is roughly twice the 992 uh, mz value. If I click reverse, the program will provide you with the same mass. And it is always the left hand peak mass it's there's no possibility here to do that it won't uh, compute uh, a proper uh, mass it it is seeing that the delta between this peak and this peak is one and will think that you are having here a monocharged peptide so we saw that this here this peak here is due to a, a B charged uh, molecule Z equals 2 let's find a um, more charged species this must be a B charged also ah no th this is also a B charged maybe these are three charged let's check that Indeed. So we see that V is 3 and, um, and it computes the molecular mass of the peptide. Of course, in both situations, envelope, charge state envelope and isotopic cluster, it is taken for granted that the um, charge agent, the, cha the charging agent, is the proton. In future versions, if there is uh, uh, requests for this, I will implement the possibility to define if it is cationization, protonation, uh, uh, or whatever. This is it. Thank you.